No, I was going to say, you know, and with the team coming off back back to back five or seven seasons, you know, and Coach Herman has said throughout you know the year he's been in the coach so far that he wants to you know change the tone and set the tone, especially with basketball coming off of just those championship expectations. Uh, can you just talk about with the past seven months? What have you seen uh, the team be like? Is the energy different? Uh, what's sort of the tone that you're seeing Coach Herman and the rest of the coaching staff and you sort of set for this team? Yeah, I mean, obviously with change. Things become different. You know, Tom's going to set his own culture. He's going to set a culture that he believes in that's worked for him, that draws from his past experiences. Um, you know, I think the thing is, is that uh, everybody realized they got a fresh start. Every player came in with a fresh start. You get a hard reset, as the guys call it today. Uh, and with that, you can make a name for yourself with the new coaching staff with the, you know, the new people here with the head coach. Um, Tom's very big on not a lot of rules, but we're going to hold you to those rules. So we have certain rules and certain things in the program that we want you to do. There's a high level of accountability to that. There's no margin of error for that. So it's not like, hey, he was one minute late, look the other way. If you're 30 seconds late, you're late. You do the same punishment if you're 30 minutes late. So don't be late. If you miss... There's this, you know, there's there's accountability and there's no getting out of it and there's no looking the other way. And, you know, they made a big deal that he got here and the locker room was dirty and he closed the locker room. Said, nope, you guys don't get to use the locker room. You know, I, that was going around at the a AC media days. I saw that. Um, yeah, like, you know, instead of saying every day the locker room's dirty, then let's do something about it. So when you hold people accountable and they don't get to use their locker room because it was dirty, and all it is is just picking your stuff up and put it in the dirty clothes hamper or put it in your locker. So um, anyway, just uh, I love that because I'm a high accountability guy. I mean, my dad was a military guy and a coach, so I'm grown up high, high accountability. So I do that with the O linemen, and now we're doing that with the entire team, and I love it because we've changed. The guys take care of business and do what they're supposed to do, do it when they're supposed to do it, and, you know, it's been good. Speaking of this, uh, this accountability and building a program, all this, of course, starts off the field with these expectations you have of your players, the, the rules you have set on players, but then you do need to see them go out on the field and have that same mentality, have that same edge to them. Uh, throughout the offseason, we've seen the work that the team's been putting in uh, via multiple social medias. Uh, what has the competition level been like within specific position groups and also position groups going against each other to try to really build this team? Well, one of the things that Tom wanted to incorporate in the off-season program, in the weight room, and the off-season conditioning, as well as practice, every day that our players work out, there is some kind of competitive exercise where they're competing against somebody else, and it's winner loser. You know, you won, he won. You know, there's a score kept. There's a, a result, not just okay, let's see who run, runs over there and back the fastest, and then nothing happens. If you run over there and back the fastest and the other guy loses, then there's a punishment for him losing. You know, not a harsh punishment, but just recognition that when you lose, you, you there's something, you know, you've got to be held accountable. So anyway, I, I love that. So we do that in the weight room. Today was our last workout of the summer. Then the players have five, six days off here before we start camp. So I went over to the beach and we worked out this morning on the beach at 6.30 and uh, every drill they were doing, there were two guys up there or three guys up there and it was a competition to see who could do it better, who could do it faster, who could do it. And, you know, they call out the winner, they call out the loser, they keep track of it. At the end, they post it, you know, and the, you had this many wins, you had this many losses and there's certain punishments for how you know who loses the most whatever but that's the way life is it's the way the games are i think they keep score on the scoreboard and somebody wins and somebody loses and there's a result that somebody has to live with so that's just part of the culture of learning to compete you know learning to every day how do i beat this person i'm going against because really football is 11 on 11 but it's one-on-one -on -one battles you know there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one. receiver and a cornerback one-on-one -on -one a running back and a safety one-on-one -on -one in the open field, a tackle and a defensive end one-on-one -on, -one on the line of scrimmage. You know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of that really is what football is and then how you coordinate it to 11-on-11. 11 11. But, uh, yeah, 
So we, yeah, we just there's nothing we don't do every day that doesn't involve some kind of competition, which I think is really good for the players, and it just shows you who the competitors are because competition isn't about who can bench the most, who has the best forty, who's got the best vertical jump, who has the biggest hand, his wingspan. I mean, all these numbers that everybody measures and says these are the competitors are the guys that are the best players. Aaron Donald doesn't win any measurable contest, does he? Does he win any measurable contest for defensive line? Height, weight, wing, hand, any measurable bench? No. They're, somebody's better than him at every single one, but he's the best player because he's the most competitive. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, that's just how football is. It's really not about measurables as much as it is about competitors. And just kind of we, 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 we drill that every day. That's just what we train them to be, competitors. Competitors.